guys, Sano here, and uh, today I'm doing a quick tutorial. It is actually my first tutorial that I've done. Um, hopefully, you guys like it. It's just going to be a simple tutorial, basically, on the shapes that I'm doing in my banner. So, like, and I've been doing shapes that you guys have been pointing out. Like, hold on, let me get an example. Okay, so um, the these type of lines here, you guys have. I've actually been getting a few recommendations on Twitter. I'm going to show you how to do things like this and these type of, you know, it's all pen tool work really. It's, it's not that hard, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. It's really easy. Hopefully you get the hang of it. And I'll probably put some in a download in the description. Certain amount of likes, I'm not sure yet, but yeah. Okay, so basically, you get your, uh, your brush tool and um, you sit, I always sit onto this one. So it's the third brush, and it's this soft one. I always put on two pixels, and then I get my pen tool, click from there, and then I click down to hit. Oh shit, that's not how I do that. Okay, so stroke path. It's really easy. Just, just brush, backspace, backspace. That's one line, and you see it gives this nice like, centered part there. It's bright, and then it fades. And then, I don't know why, but I always do that to make it like see if it goes thinner and then I duplicate the layer and I like change one colour so basically I change one colour like say a blue for example <clears throat> okay so that's a blue and you can see it just gives let's make that a little bit brighter actually I'm not a fan of that um okay okay this is more like it so oh shit what the fuck am I doing Okay, anyway, so you just get that and then it gives this cool effect. I've been getting a lot of people asking me how to do that, so yeah, now you guys actually know how to do it, which is cool. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is some other shapes that I've been doing pretty much. So it's pretty much all pen tool work, as I said, and it's really simple. Just say, for example, you want to click down here. And then I always do a straight line, and then because it'll be on the end of something, so I always bring it back like that a little bit upwards. Then I click, I always shift click when I do this for some reason. I think it just looks a lot better. Um, you don't have to, it depends what shape you're going for, but yeah, god damn it, I can't get this fucking <sighs> fuck me. I, I suck with the pen tool by the way, so yeah, this shit not oh my fucking god. <laughs> this is the biggest fail ever. Like honestly. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it, that this is fine. So then you just go to fill path, colour, do it on white because I'm using a black canvas. Then basically it'll come like this, it'll give this kind of cool shape. And then I always end up duplicating that, edit, transform, flip horizontal, and it gives this cool effect. Hold up, I need to make this a lot bigger than it is. Stretch this out a bit more. That should be good enough. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Anyway, so I control E, merge these layers together, and let's just add a stroke to that. Let's make it, um, give it blue because you're using a black canvas, blue canvas stands out. So, pretty much, I just fill, turn the fill down. Yeah, like, normally it's black, so it looks a lot better. Um,. I put in a shadow on it. I don't know why it just looks a lot cleaner in my opinion, but I mean this is really down to how you want it. Um, I'm not going to force you to do anything, but yeah, just you know, it's pretty much all down to you. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, then I'm going to get make these lines to go around it. So pretty much, I'm just going to do the same thing I did before, except I'm going to remake the shape. If you get what I mean. So kind of like what I'm doing now and then I'm just going to drop, I'm just going to do it like that because it just looks better than doing it in the center. So it kind of gives this shape, I mean it doesn't do it all the way but I just control G 
J the layer and it kind of stands out more you know so control E that move it down a little bit then I can duplicate the layer you guys have been seeing this quite a lot I think I did it in my um, karma banner and my sensor banner um, I'm going to put a color overlay on that and then I'm just going to give it that don't really have the same blue but oh well they look the same then yeah it just kind of gives it this cool effect and then I'll just duplicate this on the other side like so doesn't matter if it's not center I don't care alright so yeah it kind of gives this cool effect that you do and then say for example I'm just going to place a logo in here so I'm just going to go I'll just throw my personal logo in here or whatever. Um, just colour logo on that. Make it white. Keep it simple. So, yeah, just, you know, just a little something. What you want to do. Now, if you didn't know how to make those shapes, now you do. So, this is my first tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you want to see more tutorials. And also, yeah, um,. Give me some suggestions on Twitter of what you want to see because I'm, I always try to respond to people on Twitter. I mean, I do most of the time anyway. So if you guys give me to like, uh, if you guys give me suggestions of what you want me to make a tutorial of, then I will actually do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.